Welcome to an episode of InRange. Coming to you today with a brand new red dot sighting system from SIG, the Romeo 8T AMR. This has some really forward leaning features, but I think first we got to talk about that it's from SIG. Yeah, the uh, the firearms community in general isn't happy with SIG right now. Sure. Um, SIG Firearms obviously has a lot of contention going on about the 320. As an owner of several SIG 320s, I'm not particularly happy with how they've handled that situation uh -huh. over time. And there's a whole lot of other channels that are covering that in depth with court documents and all sorts of things. Yeah. Questions about when they knew what. Um, mm -hmm. So not really happy with SIG. Fair. However, you and I were talking about this sighting system. And this is a system, and that's what we're going to get into. Mm -hmm. It's so cool and so good that it kind of forced our hand to talk about, first of all, we paid for it. You bought it. Yep. This I is not sponsored content. Bought it through distribution. MSRP on this package is $1,000. Yep. Uh, price at distributors, seven sixty five. dollars Okay, but this was bought with, with, with your own money, mm -hmm. in-range money, through Patreon.com supporters. This is not a sponsored project. Right. No one, SIG didn't send this to us, although they stopped sending us stuff anyway. <laughs> right. After we said some stuff about the P320. However, so this is purchased for a legitimate review, and we were literally like, do we even want to talk about a SIG product? Right. But this is so good, and it's not the handgun part of the firearms part of the division. It's a separate division under SIG. Right. That it was, it's still worth talking about. Right. Yeah, they're in separate parts of the country. Honestly, like pretty much everything we've gotten from the electro optics division has been great. Yes. For the time, like we're really happy with the Romeo 4T, mm -hmm. the Romeo 4T Pro, and the the Romeo 8T that came before this. And I got that Tango LPVO. That's awesome too. Right. So every everything they're doing has been phenomenal. The optics department's been great. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we can start with the features of this. What does this do beyond the, the Romeo 8T that we reviewed before? Well, me looking at this right now, I see a red dot and a, a magnifier. I don't see anything special here. Right. Right. So, so first off, it is significantly lighter and smaller than the original 8T. It is. Uh, they advertise it as being about 40% smaller and lighter than the 8T. Mm -hmm. uh, the optic by itself uh, is advertised as weighing at 9.3 ounces. Okay. So uh, not the lightest, but also not the heaviest. Mm -hmm. um, the magnifier in conjunction with this is perhaps the most unique feature that I don't believe anyone else has done with a red dot and magnifier combo. The AMR stands for Automatic Modified Reticle. Okay. There is a magnet inside the magnifier uh, mount that when it flips into place, allows you to automatically change the reticle. So commonly, like when I'm shooting without magnification, I wanna use the EOTech style reticle, center dot with big circle. I'm with you, I love that reticle. Right, great for fast up close shooting. Mm -hmm. The the 4T and the 8T before had uh, BDC dot radicals. Boop, 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 boop. And to cycle to those, you have to hold down both buttons at the same time, yep. cycle through four modes till you got the one you wanted. Correct. Right? So the problem with using that mode is it doesn't work really good without magnification, in my no, opinion. It just looks like a little blur of dots. Right. Uh, and the tendency you have when you're using a magnified red dot is the brightness setting you wanted at under magnification is usually one to two clicks uh, dimmer than without the magnification. Especially here in Arizona, you're shooting at 50 yards, you got your EOTech reticle, mm -hmm. and it looks perfect. And then you flip the magnifier and it's just blasting you. It's too bright. Right. You're gathering more light with the magnifier and it's just, it kind of blasts out. It, it In fact, it'll it'll sometimes like starburst. Right. Yeah. So what the AT AMR does is it remembers what your setting is with the magnifier in place and mm -hmm. without it in place. There's no like programming mode. You just simply flip the magnifier in place, adjust it you want it what you want it to be, and it remembers what it was with the magnifier in place, and it remembers what it is without the magnifier in place. So usually, based on the lighting conditions here, I have the magnified view set to the BDC dots mm -hmm. at two settings dimmer than the you know unmagnified setting, and then the unmagnified setting is you know both brighter and the EOTech style reticle. Mm -hmm. And this has added a degree of functionality to the system that is like unmatched versus any other red dot magnifier system I have where I actually want to use it at distance. It's such a catchphrase, but it literally is a game changer. Yeah, it, it, that phrase is so overused. But this is. That this is, it. I feel it's made my other red dot magnifier combos obsolete for anything I want to shoot past 300 yards. For people like you that shoot as much as you do, saying that this makes me want to use just this is the reason we're like, we need to do this review. Right. Now, 
couple other points that I found using it. Mm. The dot is the cleanest, most concentric dot under magnification that I've ever used. Well, it was designed to be used in conjunction with a magnifier, and I'm sure that that was a priority. Right. So, uh, again, astigmatism, corrective mm -hmm. lenses. I can focus the uh, objective lens on the magnifier with this red dot so that I have a perfectly concentric dot. Crisp, clear image. Yeah, that I do not get with even the previous 8T or the 4T. This is I, even better. I still have a like comet tail sort of thing a little bit. Not not bad. It's, it's the, those were the best of breed before. But with this, it is the uh, clearest glass, the most cleanest, crispest dot I've seen. And the BDC dots are tiny. They're three quarter of an MOA. They can make them smaller. Right. Mm -hmm. So it has a center uh, one MOA dot and it has three quarter MOA BDC dots, which makes this whole system incredibly more usable at distance than any previous uh, red dot and magnifier combo. You're getting what you're paying for with this. Right. Frankly. Well, and, and the price isn't even really that out of line versus other red dot and magnifier combos. Like the 8T and uh, Juliet 4 magnifier combo before was right around the same price. Yep. Uh, An Aimpoint T2 and magnifier is actually more expensive than this by a few hundred bucks. So after using this, like, you know, yeah, I still have other red dots and magnifiers for stuff where I, you know, I'm going to be shooting at 300 yards or less. But yeah. for events where I'm going to be shooting four or 500 yards, like, I wouldn't want to use something other than this as long as I want red dot uh, unlimited eye relief capability. Now, and, and it's also kind of changing the way I view using these combinations to where as soon as there's like a four or five power magnifier for this, I probably won't want to use an LPVO anymore because mm. I'll have none of the liabilities of an LPVO as far as like eye box and eye relief for like shooting up close. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll still have pretty much all the advantage of an LPVO because of the automatic uh, a modified reticle feature under magnification. Now that said, it's the it's the mount that's got the magic here. I don't know if there's anything uh, specialized going on, but couldn't you put a different optic on the mount? The, um, it's pretty clear based on the packaging that SIG has other uh, magnifiers coming. But you could, right? I mean, yeah. I don't know if it's the same pattern as their previous Juliet magnifiers. Okay. It's a little bit wider on the base. Mm -hmm. But um, it's clear that there's other options going to be coming there. The so. point being, this is a very simple concept. And what I find, I have found interesting in the firearms community now for a long time. Pushing the envelope of new technology is for some reason always met with a weird level of resistance. And it's why we don't see a lot of modernization like this happening, frankly. Right. People are unwilling to try new things because it's so often when you do, you get your hand slapped. Right. Like what would Stoner do with all of its like carbon fiber, and I'm not saying it's right or wrong for you, but carbon fiber and monolithic polymer lower, all the different newfangled technology there, people are, some people embrace it, but a lot of people are like, no, nah, that's not aluminum and plastic. Just like back 50 years ago, that's not wood and steel. Right. So going and doing something different where you have a magnifier that actually communicates as simple as it is with a magnet to the red dot and having it adjust automatically is pushing an envelope forward. And it's interesting we don't see, and I hope we do, more of that kind of stuff happening. Yeah, it, I mean, it's a very obvious solution. Uh -huh. And I mean, what I will compliment like the SIG electro optics engineers on is they're also competitors. They shoot a lot. Yeah. They know the uh, the limitations of, of the previous products and they work to solve a, a known limitation. I also love that it's done in this very resilient way using a magnet that requires no actual electronic communication. Yeah, it's not like there's a Bluetooth connection. There's not oh, Bluetooth. Remember when they were doing Bluetooth optics and all right. that? Right. But no, there's no wires either. This is just a magnet talking to a to a uh, sensor mm -hmm. doing the thing. In fact, when you flip this back and forth, if you flip it slowly, I noticed this, and you get the red dot or the magnifier about 45 degrees into closed, you can see the reticle change. Yep. Because it's starting to sense the magnet. Now, it does need to be within three Picatinny slots. But that's what you want with a magnifier anyway. Usually so. So yeah. you, you want to put the magnifier on the gun where it makes sense for you for your eye relief mm -hmm. and then set the set the optic in relation to the magnifier. Now, th this optic or the magnifier does have a pretty short eye relief. Mm -hmm. So if you did want to use a backup iron sight with this setting uh, or setup, you wouldn't necessarily be able to because you can see I have it mounted all the way to the rear so I have the right eye relief with my stock There's link. nowhere to put a backup iron sight on here at this Correct. point. Correct. Given the quality of the optic um, and you know the the durability testing they've done on these things to be you know uh, adopted by you know militaries etc and the fact it has a 50,000 hour battery life with the CR123 
not too concerned about having backup iron sights with it. So. I wouldn't have been either. So let's go through the basics. We've got night vision settings. Yeah, and the night vision setting button's kind of cool in that, like, if you hit it to go to night vision, then hit night vision again, it goes to maximum brightness. Like, you you were in a night vision situation, and then suddenly it's, you know, white light is on, and your night vision's not effective anymore. You can hit the night vision button again, and then you're immediately maximum So it'll brightness. blast past your remembered brightness setting. It yes. goes all the way to the top. Yeah. Which makes sense, because if you're getting hit with white light, you need that. Right. Smart. Regular adjustment. Yeah. There's, um, there's three night vision settings and 15 uh, daylight brightness setting. Okay, so reticles. It's got EOTech. Dot by itself. Dot stack. So BDC dots. And then EOTech with the BDC dots. Okay, so it's got, okay, which is a really kind of complex reticle. Yeah, the, the EOTech reticle with BDC dots isn't great. Yeah. That's the one I found myself using a lot of times on long range stages though, because it, I kind of had to. I wanted I wanted to use both features, yeah. but it, it wasn't an optimal solution. Before this flip over cool magic, the mm -hmm. BDC, the EOTech with the BDC dots is what you did when you flipped your magnifier over. Right. But then you had, it was too bright mm -hmm. and it was this like giant circle with a dot. When you're trying to shoot at a target at 400 yards, you didn't need all that crap. Right. This gets rid of that. Yep. Okay. Um, and then, okay, so it's also got some other things. It's got, uh, looks like sacrificial lenses on this. Yeah, the, uh, so these are a little bit difficult to actuate, like, and I may not have long enough fingernails to get at them, yep. but um, they're clear enough that I just zeroed with them in place. Mm -hmm. You can remove them. Uh, there's a solid front you can put on it. Uh, there's a kill flash thing it comes with you can put on the front of it. But be aware, like this rear one, um, will bounce into the magnifier. Yeah, you can't open that fully with the magnifier in place. So if you're trying to open that because like you got coated in mud and you're trying to like quickly, you know, get a sight picture again, you pretty much have to just rip it all the way off. So either want that on there with the magnifier or don't want it on there, you, but pick one or the other. Right. And they're kind of hard to open or close. Right. Okay, but at the most part, I would leave them on because it'll protect the optic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, the the regular wear and tear of scratches or whatever happened to your, your sacrificial lens, not your primary optic lens. I don't know what else to say besides I love the simplicity of the solution using a magnet. And this addresses so many issues that existed in a tandem red dot magnifier combination that it really is. I mean, I'm sure other people are going to try to do something like this on the market, right? We're going to see others. Right. But SIG has pushed the envelope forward with this. And this is, if I were to go buy a combo now, I would want this. Uh, yeah, I would I would agree. Like yeah. your, your capabilities are so much higher with this system versus other combinations. Um that, you know, the only reason not to buy it is cost. I also love how much it blurs the line between this and LPVO. And I'm not, because I'm not, frankly, an LPVO guy. Mm -hmm. This keeps bridging the gap to keep going further and further into what I want, which is a red dot that does everything. Right. Yeah. So MSRP, thousand bucks. Yep. Separately, they're more expensive. The um, magnifier is like 400 bucks by itself. And I think the uh, uh, optics like 800 bucks by itself mm. or so. So, but if you buy it as a combo, it's, it's a thousand bucks. It'd be weird to buy them separately because the magnet in this doesn't do anything to that. And that doesn't do anything without that. So it's kind of like, well, why? Uh, I think the only reason you might want to buy them separately is if you have multiple guns, you want the red dot on and you only need one magnifier. Oh, but right. But buy the combo for the first gun and then buy the red dot and just move the magnifier. Right. Yeah. Right. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Um, and, and I think you can tell from our intro that uh, we're, we're pretty un unbiased in our uh, review of these things. That's been the whole purpose of InRange, being not ever sponsored or monetized from anyone except you, the viewer, right? So the reason we do patreon.com slash TV and are funded now for almost a decade via viewer support is to do reviews like this where we're like, well, this company... Hmm. Mm. However... Right. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Yeah. yeah. For, for me, like... You know, I have a lot of red dots and a lot of guns, and and the close quarters guns, I I don't feel the need to switch to these on. There's a whole lot of, you know, red dots I use like the lead and steel ones that are perfectly fine. But you're probably not going to bother with a magnifier on anyway. Right. Yeah. Right. Like all of my PCCs, my shotguns, all that kind of stuff, my close quarters carbines. Like, if I don't have a magnifier on it, those other dots are fine. But if I'm using it as a system, mm. this is the system I want. Makes sense. And again, this was purchased with our own funds. This was not sponsored. Sig did not send this to us. No one sent this to us. No one told us to do this review. In fact, we had to discuss if we wanted to do the review. 
Right. Which this is a positive review, which means it's going to get less clicks than a negative review. <laughs> right. However, you know what else we are? We're not part of the Leviathan tribe, so they don't send us 50 things to review a week. Right. People are like, how come you don't review these five things this week? Because we can't. We pick and choose via the funding we have. If you want to make that possible on this channel, you can do that. Patreon.com slash TV. If you already are, thank you. And if you can't, we understand. Subscribe, click the bell, and share this video with your friends who are looking now. Maybe a new gun owner or someone that's looking for a red dot. Yeah, it's SIG, but if you want the best red dot on the market with a magnifier, this is it. Yep. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.